All right, so this is a one of the more tricky builds I have. I mean, it's not that complicated. You should be able to figure it out. Yeah, uh, the title said it all, Sword in the Stone. And this, like I said, it's not too complicated, but if you miss something, then just rewind the video. All right, so have a pre-selected three by three space. I'll just fill in the details. Stone and cobblestone and I think this just makes it look good. Really. To grab an anvil, but first, actually, I should before placing down that anvil, take the coordinates of this. So that is thirteen sixty nine one oh six. Although use your own coordinates, just as always, and. Actually, you know, I have a tendency to forget things, so I'm going to just not put the anvil on yet. Yet. I'm going to, don't worry. All right. Dig down three. All right. Type in this. All right. Uh, sorry, uh, brain fart. Uh, Effect at e name equals dinner dinner wow can't type too early dinner bone invisibility twenty twenty true Repeat, always active. Crouch, place another command block on top of that. This one is TP at E. Name equals dinner bone. And then you put, put in those coordinates. So that's thirteen sixty nine one oh six. Thirteen sixty nine one oh six and repeat what is that? All right. And then Make sure I did that right. All right. Now I'm going to quickly cover that up. Look, I gained the interest of one of the locals. All right. Armor sand, iron sword. I'll do new. Place the anvil on top of the little podium we made. I can get it. Jeez. That was weird. So there was a cow there. I don't know how that happened. Must have been a previous dinner bone. Alright. You can place this 
on the side, it will work out. Give it the sword and on the anvil. Name tag. Dinner phone. And make sure that this is capital. Crouch, place it on there. And the armor stand is now invisible and standing relatively on the anvil. Just crouch and click on the sword a few times. All right, I have appeared to screw up. All right. Hope this works and yep. I'd say that's pretty good for now. So you don't want the coordinates under the anvil, you want the coordinates on top of the anvil. I, I apologize, guys, for that. All right, now this next part is purely cosmetic. But if you take a book and quill and a lectern, place the lectern, uh, I don't know, right here. He who so ever pulleth, well, I can't do Wait, no, I did spell that right. The sword from the stone shall be crowned king of England. Why not? Why not, guys? Actually, this isn't England at all, so I'll just leave it at dot, dot, dot right there. Put that right there. Now you don't have to change it and sign it because that way you can never change it again. So yeah, it's just a simple, really simple build. Uh, this actually works in the way that you can pull the sword out. At least you should be able to. There we go. You just have to click slightly above the hilt. Yep. Click slightly above the hilt, which is handle. And you can actually pull the sword out. So it actually works. Now for a bit of extra added detail, you can rename the sword Excalibur, which it was its name, but we're not gonna do that here. All right, 40 Carat Studios, and 40 Carat Rock Studios, signing out. See you in the next video.